Okay, I just quickly wanted to record something here while I'm playing Minecraft this morning because I, I bought it a little while ago and uh, rented a server here for three months. So I'm going to be putting a lot of time into this game. Now, I just bought this game yesterday. Yeah, okay, so I started playing it yesterday. Well, I stayed up for 30 hours straight. That's how long I played it the first time. So it's my one day was 30 hours. I took a break at the 24 hour point. I went and got some food. But, however, I, I just slept for 12 hours and, you know, did some other mundane stuff in my day. Got my video uploaded, made like a handsy thumbnail, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. And, um, so I logged on here today. All right, we got three people on the server right now, potentially four in the future. I logged on. I did I did a whole lot. So I'm, I was curious to what my friend was going to think. But I got up and did some investigation to see if anybody did get on, and I did figure it out. So I'm gonna just like show you guys how my day's been going on here, I guess. Um, or leads. I got a lot of wool. Oops, where is it? I got this line of wool. I got these first like four stacks from two sheep on their own, and then I made a sheep farm and started getting more. But just me. Just showing you how I organize stuff. You know, I organize stuff very prettily, except for this chest. This chest is ugly. Okay, it doesn't really matter. This is just my little main house. I have it so the chests are blocked from the main window, so it doesn't seem like if someone looks through it, they're not going to be, as, you know, they're going to investigate inside my house anyways, but that's not the point. Anywho, so I was going around, right? I was looking at everything. I'm like, everything looks normal, right? And then I noticed these, and I'm just like, okay, somebody was online, because they have these right here. They have these, these, these little upgrades. I was just too lazy to put those there, but, um, yeah. But um, I was just like, who did it? I wonder who did it. And I was just like, you know what? Let's go out and see who upgraded their house. And then I saw this, and I'm like, okay, Eric was on. It was 100% Eric. And then I saw his little field. And I'm like, oh, this is cool. Because this actually looks really cool with like how the outlining of that is. And it's just this open field. But that's all I made. His house is empty still. His house is still. His home still work on progress. But there is one thing I am a little bit jealous of. I'll show it off real quick. I should, oh, I was thinking about bringing my seeds over and just planting all the, re, uh, filling up his crops here. But, uh, the bridge. Look at this little bridge he did here. So now the boats can go underneath. He put work into his little bridge here. But it's a lot easier to put a little work into a bridge like that versus if I had to make one. If I had to make one, look, look at the size. Look how far I'd have to build this. I just went straight concrete pavement slab down, you know what I mean? I did that over here. This is kind of, I'm kind of just documenting this real quick, and then we'll get we'll get into the real meat and potatoes here in a second. Say nothing weird. But this is Twinkie, and um, you may have seen him in a stream briefly for like a few seconds and no time to talk twice. I think. This is home. I've actually never came inside. Oh my goodness! You have a pink bed. That's what I'm jealous of. Investigate. He only played for an hour, so. But that's actually a pretty good house for only playing for an hour, though. Especially because there was no trees. You had to grow all the trees first. And then Eric's has the lamest home. Definitely. He has a cool garden, though. He has a, he has a lot. Of, he mainly did mining. So he has, like, all of the gear and the diamonds and stuff. I barely went underground at all. You better not be meowing, Carjo. And in doing so, I just solely hyper-focused into my base now. I did do a few things differently than what I usually do when I make these compounds. I blocked off all of the hallways, but I made them their own thing. Oh, they need to be placed right here. So they're just empty hallways. Well, you're getting comfortable with me, Mr. Enderman. Very comfortable. Anywho. And I haven't done anything with this entrance room. Um, I haven't done anything with the room over there, but I made these little pathways, right? And this island was a lot smaller than this. I might have to download the seed to show you how small this island was. I basically had to like increase the whole island out this far all the way around. And I had to level it because it was a few blocks higher everywhere. Now this one over here I didn't do much with. But this one feels more comfortable. I think it might be just because it's more closed up. I went with these gardens right here. I was thinking about making these 12 spaces in between right here or something. Or 6 in between and then making them 12 long. But then I... I I just kept tinkering with it for a couple hours. It actually took me way longer than I thought to make these. 
until I got something that I thought felt right. So I did these ones. I mainly have wheat, so I did wheat, wheat, and then like half carrots, half uh, potatoes. And really, I don't care about the potatoes. I'm really just caring about the uh, carrots. I mean, no, no, no. I don't care about the carrots. I'm caring about the potatoes because, as you can see, I'm eating the cooked potatoes. That's the food of choice that I chose for this time around. Then I got my next one right. I mean, I do have the, the farm right there of the bamboo, but I don't care about that. Got my uh, sugar king farm. I got the uh, cocoa farm, and I got my tree farm. And I just put all the trees together as close as I can. So when I mine, it's just a straight block of tree in the middle that I have to cut out makes it really easy to cut it all out real quickly and then you can just use the trees to dig up into it so all the big ones are really easy to mine and all that nonsense now I put this here to hide my ender portal although I think somebody found it no 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 no, no. I don't think no one found it but maybe and um my main house here in the middle is a work in pro progress I don't want to just absolutely do everything in my power to finish this I'm going piece by piece, but this is kind of how I have the foundation built. I raise the foundation once so I can have like a little garden on the second level, and then I raise the foundation again on the inside just so it can be up higher. Now there's a little bit of an oddity in the back, but I'll show that off in a second. Um, if you come into the inside, I just got this. I have some glass I was cooking in here. Um, nothing too interesting in here. I don't have that room built out. I don't know what I'm going to do with either of these two rooms. I just had to do something because I was trying to get glass. And these two rooms you can't even reach yet. This is kind of the vibe it has on the inside. And I'm not certain how I want to do the roof or how big I want to make this building. I was thinking I can make the roof start going inwards right here like a triangle and then have a reverse for this roof and having it um, be up higher or connected or vice versa. Have the roof come up from here and then have it opposite but I'm not really I, I have no idea what I want to do with that that's like an optical illusion though like because it almost looks like it's dug down deep because like over here I have one of those things but like I turned mine into something else which we're gonna move on to that now because I'm already look oh I guess there's the back oddity so I kind of have this going out I'm gonna have my own deck like dragon's reach but I'm not certain how I want to do it I don't know if I want to like have a giant archway over it and have it loop down and have it come out a little ways or not I, I'm not certain. I was going to have the house come out that far, but then I was just like, the math worked out better that way with the walls. But over here is my mine. I have two versions of it. I have a version that like I eat away at and a version that uh, I go down into. So this is going down layer by layer. The spider's going to want problems. I'm not good with PC controls yet, so I'll just bear with me. So that's about how far I mine, but every but you don't get iron as easy anymore. So I keep having to do this mine so I can go and start doing my strip mines, which I don't really care about where the diamonds are, but um, it would be nice to start getting diamonds. But I just started my strip mine where I want, thought good iron would be, and so far it's worked out really well for me. I just got these ones going, and then um, I know it's a 2x2, two two, and that's not really a good way to do a strip mine, but if you do that in every direction, right? A two by two. Then if you go every two, you know what I mean? And then if I go over here, do two. Or however, it will just hit this wall over here. So I don't so it kinda makes it so I don't have to do certain ones as much. But uh whoops. This one right here with all of this led to a underground mine shaft. And also there's another mine shaft down below that mine shaft, which I found just going straight down. I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking, like, I'm third, like, I don't know, I feel like it's third person talking. I'm just, I'm just telling you about my place, alright? I'm just telling you about my place. Why am I judging myself? You probably don't even notice that I'm doing that. Okay, anywho. Make sure to eat, eating, I, I swear, I, I will go without eating for so long on this game, and then I'll get close to dying, and then it's like, oh my goodness. It's fine. But since we live at the spawn area, I mean, it's kind of fine. I don't really want to go around down here too much, but I did find some diamonds. That's how I got my nether portal going. And I got some shroom lights, and I got some glowstone, too. I want to get as much as I can, because you can't really reset the nether. So once everybody else starts getting into the nether, we'll have to go further and further to find it. I don't feel like I just want to get all the easy stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of why I hid my nether portal is just a little teeny bit of... What is it? Uh, where, what is it when you don't share? What's that word? I'm just 
I'm hiding my nether portal, so I'm being like a hoarder of the resources from the nether, you know what I mean? But it's not like they're not going to have nether portals soon, so you know what I mean. I'm being, uh, whatever the word is for that, greedy. I'm being greedy with my nether portal at the moment. But if they find it, I don't care. <laughs> and I'm probably going to show it to them when they log on anyway, so. And then, um, we might get, so, yeah. Thank you now. Uh, don't even bother, Mr. Skeleton. Don't even bother. Stop trying to act like you're cool. I mean, come. Oh my goodness, you're you 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 got an ambush for me. Oh, why am I not sprinting? Can I not sprint with that much food? Sprint. There we go. That's a sprint. But anywho, I'm honestly what, what's kind of funny about my house here that I'm constructing is that. I used to have, like, a really crappy, like, building, like, right here-ish somewhere. I don't know where. And it was just, it was just a horrible little shack. It wasn't even have four walls. But anyways, I'm building that up. But I turned this side into my own little home. But I'm kind of liking this. But did I put that there? I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm the only one online. Okay, anyways. I'm kind of just enjoying the vibe of this little room, though. I might build that whole mansion thing up and then just live here in this little place. Because I always like smaller homes anyway, so it doesn't. Um, got these seeds. Oh yeah, I wanted to at least donate, you know, three three stacks of wheat over there of seeds to Eric's little thing over there. So we're gonna go do that. And um, yeah, everything on the server has been going really well actually. I mean, we've I, I've only played that one day and I was like alone the whole time because everybody was sleepy times. And I just felt like, okay, let's not do it at night, because I don't want to make all the monsters, like, destroy his farm. And I don't want to have to make a wooden hoe just to get by. But so, yeah, basically, they went to bed. And then next time they log on, I'm going to have this whole, <laughs> this whole place, this whole compound. Now, initially, I had a few different ideas for the walls. I wasn't going to do it that way, but then as I built everything else, so I just did a little bit of the wall. That, or kind of the way I build is I do like I build half of it first like the first little half or like a smaller variant of it then I build some other things around it and then I kind of start getting the vibe and then I go and then I'm like okay now I know what what how to finish this and so this wall was just one line of cobblestone on the other side it had stairs so it was this cobblestone this wood plank and then stairs on the outside which I'll show you the stairs and that's all it was going to be, was stairs, cobblestone, and then this wood piece. And then I was thinking about doing this upper line, right? But then I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Until I, like, finished everything else out, and I was making them wider, and I made it come out to here. Now, I was going to make it taller, like, I had to build these two pieces here, because the hallways I was going to do tall. But then I was just like, I kind of like the vibe of it being a little bit stubbier. Now, there is one thing I'd like to do now. Oh, I can either do one of two things. I can put a block every other block all the way down. Or, I can just staircase it off and make it a nice little triangle roof. I think I might do that. All right, here we go. This, this is actually why I wanted to start the videos, because I wanted to work on this. So. Yeah, you know, teamwork makes the dream work. All right, you know what I mean? And I've noticed, you can kind of hear the music right now. Minecraft, I haven't played in a very long time. And, um, like, even, like, the cave updates with, like, the warden and, like, fancier whatever cave, anything. I never played those either. Even though I, I may have played a little bit during it, I never went underground and I was in creative. So I, ne I don't count that as actually playing. Even then, that was a long time ago. So... I've noticed the new music, is what I was saying, and I really like the new music. It's actually like, it's more of like a inspirational, a little bit of a sad vibe, which I like, I like it better than the original Minecraft music now, because I feel like the original Minecraft music is just depression. Depressing. Depressions. Depressing. I feel like I don't say that word right sometimes. I fumble on it. 
But yeah, the original Minecraft music, I think, is just kind of depressing now. It's not, I don't even like it anymore. Uh-oh. Got myself some carrot juice. I was able to... Okay, so when I stayed up for 30 hours straight on here, I actually was thinking about going for a whole nother 24 hours on top of that. The reasoning I didn't is because I know it's not good, but I had no... Like... I was, like, I was stuttering, right? Because I was... Because I stayed awake for so long. My brain was registering things slow. I didn't have good balance if I got up and walked. Um... Like, those kind of things, because I stayed up, right? But mentally, my energy was as sharp as it is right now, where, like, I didn't feel like I, I wasn't closing my eyes or anything. I was wide awake the whole time. And I think it was because I had carrot juice. Because usually I get tired because it's lack of, like, food energy is usually the reason I even get sleepy like that, because I don't eat. And so I was just like, you know what? Carrot juice. And then, like, the carrot juice held me over instead of drinking caffeine or anything, or soda or sugar or anything that's, like, bad to put in your body. He needs to get some, like, torches out here. Put some shroom lights underneath each one of these water things. Oh, my goodness. There, come on. I mean, this is 2020 and you don't have power at your base? Okay, anywho. We're going to have to run to my base. We can just use his bed again because I, I was getting chased by monsters out here earlier and I just used his because I couldn't run. I feel like eating my food. He won't mind. I'll make sure to do the laundry. <clears throat> um... This carrot juice, really, it was just, like, the substance I needed. And then also, later on, I started to get a little bit sleepy, and then I had a salad. And that helped. But really, the orange juice carried me for quite a long time for, like, feeling hungry or anything. I really
Uh, where's the map at? Where's the map? Where is she? Where is she? Oh. Oh, it all updated. So that's what my island looks like. It's massive. So my island was like, okay, you see the island next to it. The one right of the crosshair. Well, I guess, okay, so there's the big island on the top. There's my square island, and then there's the two islands right beside me. My island was a little bit smaller than one of those islands. Just a little bit. And I expanded it to this. It was probably, yeah, like 10, 25% smaller than that island right there. The one with the garden that Eric made. And then I expanded it out to this. It may have been even smaller than that, actually. Because there was one side that took quite a bit. And a lot of the expanding was from the bottom up. So, like, I had to, put, I had to fill in a lot of dirt to make it go all the way up to the top. So there was no, like, spaces underneath. That is so cool. I like seeing it like that. <laughs> the little treasure chest mark on the chest on the on the map though. It's a little bit silly. I like that. I need to add a pathway in between right there. That would look nice. Yeah. And then one down to the nether portal. Yeah. I got nice little plots. Okay. I put I put two spaces into my inventory for some reason. Did I really need the extra space? I don't think I needed the extra space. But anyways, I guess we were kind of working on his garden. I don't know if I want to go back and finish anything on there. or fin Do we want to finish it? Is that just part one? Helping out Exo? I guess so. And um, the birch trees will be next. But I forgot which direction. They're either west, east, north, or south. <laughs> so. I don't have my map with me. So it's just going to be a random guess. I know that it's not going to be towards the jungle islands. And you know what? I'll just let this grow because that last little square there can just be whatever. <laughs> I know I can start mining more of this, but like, I'm like, okay, that's that's my chunk I've done. <laughs> I feel good about that. Um, I got my compass. I don't know how to set the compass to a new spot. I just know that it takes me to these islands. Now, I could mine those trees that he's already got there, but the thing is, I don't know if those trees are Pacific. I don't like mining trees on people's property properties because I don't know if there's like a tree they want to keep. I know the beehive one I would never touch, but um, because I, I, I put trees around my bases sometimes that are like specifically planted there just for style points. And like I regrew the tree like nine different times to get the one I wanted. So that's why I don't really like mining people's trees near their homes. So we're going to go out, and then we're going to come bring some. Okay. There's the Assisia over there. I haven't played very much Minecraft with angels, so all I know is that he likes birch. So we're going to get some birch wood. I have played a lot of Minecraft with Eric, though, but I don't know what he wants either. Oh, I mined this right here for dirt once. I was just like, whoa, this looks weird. Yeah, this is what I mined for dirt at the beginning. I, I haven't played much, or I played a lot with Eric, but I don't know. I still can tell you what he would want unless he was here, but uh, I knew that his farm was unfinished, so I worked on that. So we're just doing what I can with no communications. Although I could just message, is there any type of stuff you guys want? But it's better as a surprise. I don't even have to say I did it, which I should make a map. I should, that's one of the things I should do. My next my next order of operations is I'm going to make a map. The thing is about this series in particular that I'm doing right now, and I said series because I might I, I might make more videos, is that it's going to be a little bit random because I'm not going to record the whole time I'm playing it. Like, the next episode could be we're fighting the Ender Dragon at the end. So, like, th this is going to be a little bit different, but I just wanted to make something fun on here for now. But, yeah, I did a lot of treasure hunting. That's why I got my compass. And some other goodies that I have. Um, and so I think the next thing I want to do is make a map so I can map everything out. And one of those big maps too. The best gear. Uh, 
Oh, okay. No, no, no. I know how to say it. Okay, so Angel's got the best house. Eric has the best gear. And I have the best island. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now that sounds about right. I have the most variety here. We're partying. We're popping. As you can see, my... Well, I'm gonna... I. Angel has the best house soon to be dethroned into second place once the construction of my main home is done. But my regular house is kind of just boring. You know, it's just stone and wood. It has a little chandelier in it. It's really not too crazy. It's definitely better than Eric's home. I mean, goodness. I mean, it's, like my first home I built on here was really bad, so this is definitely an upgrade. This is definitely where it's at. It's going to be whatever this is. I don't know how I'm going to do the rest, but I have like a bunch of different ideas, but I'm just I'm just letting the ideas flow before I do anything. But um, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I just, I feel like I got to do the birch trees. Uh, we'll get there when that, when we get there, we'll, we'll get to that road when we get to that road. I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios, amigos.